So to summarize, how do we make a diagnosis or what is the current recommendation um, in boxers? So to make a diagnosis of the ARVC, if I only can pick one test, the best test in boxers would be a Holter examination because this is the best screening method for the ventricular premature contractions. And if you see more than 100 in 24 hours, you have a diagnosis if they are these typical kind of VPCs. You can get a high suspicion that the dog has ARVC if you see VPCs um, on a short-term ECG. And if these ECGs look typical, meaning that they are upright and wide, in lead two, so that means if they have a left bundle branch uh, block pattern. However, remember the correlation between five minute ECG and Holter ECG is not that great. Echocardiography in boxer dogs is only abnormal in an advanced stage and in not that many boxers, so it would be not my preferred screening test but uh, it would be recommended um, to do also um, an echocardiography to detect maybe early changes. The genetic test um, here in Europe um, we do not recommend at this time um, because there are some confusing results from the UK and the genetic tests. What would be the screening method in Great Danes? One would be, besides the clinical examination, to do a yearly echocardiography from around four years on. An ECG is certainly a good idea because some of these dogs have um, atrial fibrillation, some of these dogs might have VPCs. If a Holter examination is a good screening test in Great Danes, it needs to be further evaluated, but a recent study showed that VPCs are um, not that uncommon in Great Danes, at least in the clinical stage. The diagnosis of DCM in Irish Wolfhounds would include a clinical examination starting at, the, at th about three years of age and then um, a yearly echocardiography and an ECG would be um, another recommendation to do. So to diagnose the DCM in Doberman pinchers, it would be best if you could do a yearly echo and Holter examination in a Doberman starting from two to four years of age. This would be the gold standard. If an optimal diagnosis is not possible, so, for example, if a Holter examination is not available or if the next cardiologist is quite far away, then we could maybe use a combination of clinical examination, performing a short-term ECG, which is probably available in most of the uh, private veterinarian practices, and maybe run an antiprobian P or a troponin I. Just to collect some points to convince the owner that it is worth to see a cardiologist. So if we detect abnormalities, such as if you see more than one VPC in an ECG, in a Doberman, or if you have an antiprobium P higher than 400, or a troponin I higher than 0.22, that depends although on the test that you're using, then you should strongly recommend to perform an echo or a Holter examination to, as a follow-up in these dogs.